The heartbreak the South Koreans felt after the 2014 Sewol ferry tragedy has been brought back by the Itaewon crowd rush on October. 29. The incident became the deadliest disaster in the country, leading to the deaths of 156 people. The same crowd rush surpassed the 67 casualties recorded in the 1959 Busan Municipal Stadium crowd rush. As the victims' families are yet to recover from the deadly event, 80s joined the celebrities and musicians who donated a huge amount to aid them. On Saturday, Newsus quoted the statement from the Hope Bridge Korea Disaster Relief Association on Saturday, saying that 80s donated cash to the organization to support the victims of the Itaewon tragedy. The association said 80s handed $72,219, or 100 million Korean won to it. 80s reportedly donated the proceeds of its previous concert. Aside from the cash assistance, the members and the group's agency, KQ Entertainment, extended their condolences to the victims and their families. The 80s members are deeply mourning this accident. They decided to make this donation out of the desire to be even the slightest bit of help to the bereaved families of the victims, as well as those who were injured, it went on. In addition, the K-pop idols offered a moment of silence during the fellowship, Break the Wall World Tour. 80s is among the celebrities and music acts to extend their help. Previously, actress Lee Young A donated $5,000 to help Juliana Park's family in bringing back her body to Russia. Previously, the idol group was condemned for pursuing its October 30th scheduled tour at Jamsil Indoor Gymnasium in Songpa GU, Seoul, while other artists already postponed their concerts and shows. South Korea declared a period of national mourning, but 80s pushed through with its tour. According to a report, the National Mourning Period urged all non-essential public events to be cancelled or postponed. The girl group Dreamcatcher also faced the same issue by having its 2022 Dreamcatcher Apocalypse, Broken Halloween at the KBS Arena Hall. But fans immediately defended both groups as cancelling the shows would have impacted their livelihood. Both groups also paid tributes to the victims of the tragedy, with 80s members wearing a black ribbon on their arms as a sign of mourning. They said ATEEZ's decision not to cancel the concert saved them from losing millions of dollars. The fact that the group also came from a medium-sized company made it more complicated to cancel the show. With that, they still support the boy group and thank them for including the victims in their concert and paying tributes to them. Stay tuned to K-pop stars for the latest K-pop news and updates.